So this camera is the um, the Ursa Mini, yeah, 12K, right, right. We're operating two of them. Um, I actually have a lot of questions for you as a professor. So as a professor awesome. working at USC, the School of Cinematic Arts, because um, I think a lot of students come in, uh, especially on the production side, live action. They just they're storytellers, but they like don't quite know, like that there's baby steps that they kind of need to take in the learning process. Anyway, I have so many questions. No, but, it sounds yeah, great. It sounds, you know, <laughs> it's amazing when you think about the idea, the concept and people thinking about storytelling and where it starts and how do we begin? And it's an interesting process to really imagine your story coming from your mind, the images that you see of it and what comes out onto paper in the way of a script. Because most stuff actually does start with that script. But let's get into this. We're going to talk a little bit about what Unity offers today in education. So the agenda for today in this very fast 30 minutes is going to be covering Unity Ed Lab. Uh, this is the next reality in education. Pro Artistry tools, we've got Speedtree, Ziva, and uh, virtual production tools. We've got some industry trends we're going to talk about, the numbers and why this stuff makes sense. And then the Unity Academic Alliance. So as this slide says, Unity came from its humble beginnings in, in independent game development. Understanding what that game engine did for all sorts of communication, all sorts of entertainment, and on top of that, the wonderful opportunity it gave tools and developers to embrace this real-time 3D engine and use it for more than just playing games. Now these numbers may seem quite staggering, but it's fantastical to understand that every day, 10,700 people start a new project with Unity. So around the globe, people are starting to realize what real-time can bring to their ideas. Some of these might be just prototypes of tools or interactions that they've developed over time, getting ideas into the 3D engine and then realizing spatially what they mean. And they could be stories, they could be pieces of uh, important aspects in their uh, thesis or their ideas. But it's really amazing when we start to see how those pieces of, it, of, of work come to reality. So we have some startling understanding about how hard or what it is that, you know, is a stumbling block when we start talking about education. You know, these numbers are really showing the fact that we can't teach education in computer science and real time fast enough for the consumption of the people that are in the business. We have 70% of secondary schools market can't run the Unity Editor because they don't have the machines that they require. And 80% of the educators don't feel confident teaching this content. And this has to change. Let's see here. We've developed over 7,500 hours of training content on Unity Learn. It's a great place for people to start. The Unity Learn platform is a robust and accessible system which allows students and educators alike to log in, work over, and choose what we call a pathway. Well, let me go back there for the last one. And that pathway helps people understand what part of the computer graphics uh, real-time engine they really want to embrace where their passion lies, and there are three different ways they can work through this. The first way is a recorded uh, process of being able to go through and understand a self-guided pathway. The other one is an assisted pathway where there's a, an actual instructor that's helping you go through uh, inside of a classroom, and they have a one-to-many type of a relationship. The last process is purely by going through and having an interaction an interactive means by which working in the editor and running Unity Learn on the side. So the first, pro the first company I wanted to touch on today in Pro Artistry Tools is Speedtree. 
Speed Tree is a procedural vegetation generation uh, system, allowing you to create models of, uh, of, of the tree systems or the vegetation and be able to pull that together uh, inside of your scene. First, developing the content inside of Speed Tree and then using the Unity or Unreal plugins to be able to put right into your scene in real time. There's also a high-end VFX version of these trees and, and the grass and foliage, and you can create your own custom it as well. And that's the version of Speed Tree that works with VFX, so you can create photorealistic as well. Okay, Unity and Ziva Dynamics. Now, this is another interesting Pro Artistry Tools member of the Unity family. Ziva Dynamics is a muscle system a rigging and simulation system which works on subdermal aspects and this isn't working either so um, the subdermal aspects of animals and fascia uh, getting fatty content under the skin and then being able to work that content over top of or, or underneath a skin layer that goes on afterwards we're launching the Ziva Face Trainer, which is an online portal for allowing you to upload your models to the, the machine learning face trainer. That means inside of an hour, we can process your file from another model or another data set and have it put onto a totally different model. So as long as you have one rigged model, it can work with the Ziva Face Trainer to produce extremely high quality and amazing looking face uh, animation. So here's an example of how this works. We take the automated puppet creation and we go into the cloud-based ML training and one face with the setup applies all those surfaces and deformations to the model and animates the second face. So you can do the training through the ML libraries and that ML library comes from 72,000 different uh, pieces of data and animation that's been created in order to train the machine learning for the other face. I'm, I'm asking everyone if they would to please go take, check out Real Time Live. We have uh, an amazing demo there created by our uh, Stockholm demo team, and they created the, uh, an animated version using Ziva for the enemies demo. And this real-time animation that you're going to see in real-time live is really created through using Ziva in real time. Another content, another aspect we have in our, Ziva, in our pro artistry tools is something that's new to Unity. It's called the Unity UDAM. It's the Unity Data Asset Management System. And this asset management system allows you to have the Unity uh, content that you're going to use, whether it be any model, any type of texture, any PBR scans, or anything that you have as an asset, and be able to access that from inside of Unity or your other DCC software. So what's really amazing about this opportunity is that your, da your, your assets can be managed inside of a firewall or through the cloud, allowing you to work collaboratively with other studios or other schools and being able to find out exactly what assets are used in any different type of situation. One specific use case for the UDAM, which is very interesting, is when at the end of a project you want to do an audit. Now, this is important when you're using assets maybe you've purchased off the assets, asset store or when you've got information from other vendors to be able to see where all these different pieces come from and be able to see them through the UDAM. Unity also has Virtual Production Toolkit, which is coming out in our 2022.2 release, which is slated for October. So Unity has been working on the uh, tools for our uh, virtual production and motion capture. Um, we've been partnering with different uh, companies to be able to extend that motion capture, what we're calling live capture, and different functionality, which is working inside of the engine. We've got an integrated chroma keyer. We've got photoreal content and scene creation using the Unity engine. So Professional Artistry Tools does offer, again, a large range of different uh, of 
toolkits. One of those in specific is what comes inside of that Unity Editor. So all these different tools are actually built into the Unity Editor, which work with your virtual production. Timeline, animation rigging, the Cinemachine, which is our AI camera system, uh, HDRP, high definition render pipeline, post-processing, VFX graph, shader graph. There's audio, video on the timeline working in the real-time engine, plus the physics. Now, what's really interesting is the back end and how this can get structured with your working. Uh, the cinematic studio, the live capture, and the companion apps. Unity has built a, pl uh, a platform which allows us to be able to build on top of that platform. So, utilizing something like uh, live capture, for instance, we can easily create plugins which interface with the live action or the real time engine and live action processing. So, the cinematic studio, live capture, and then we've also developed companion apps on top of that. The companion apps capture facial animation or we can use the virtual camera system and these lend to the virtual camera and virtual production scenarios. You can prototype your film and prototype your animation previous to going to a larger crew. Two of the big aspects which we're using there is our Blackmagic video and the real-time cure. And those are coming out in the 2022 release. I'm going to skip along here to the education portion, talk a little bit more about unity in education. The world is changing. This idea that we're actually moving through the industry. This is a very interesting aspect about how unity has been used. We've been able to map how unity in this concept of this next generation, this industry 4.0, where we're talking about digital twins using AI and machine learning the cyber physical world they're calling it, the systems and obviously the way we interact with that content. This market is a lot bigger than I think anybody, anyone really understands. In 2020, this was a $19 billion industry. By 2023, it's growing exponentially. Now this means that the consumer industry is also changing. You know, this, uh, this concept of how people are consuming real-time graphics, it's in everything from your car dashboards through to eBay when shopping for sneakers. You know, real-time 3D is becoming something that's being used everywhere. And of course, artistry and technology meeting at this juncture means we have to be able to show people how to tell stories with real-time assets. Some of the companies we've been working with over the last couple of years include Pixar, Disney, uh, Volvo, Kia, um, BMW. And we're seeing that these larger entities, not only in media and entertainment, but also in automotive, in healthcare, in hospitals, they're all gravitating towards the tools that are easiest for their staff to learn, easiest for their staff to be able to embrace and show productivity. There's a usefulness for the tools that are being created in a way that we've never seen before with 3D visualization. Because of this, Unity created something called the Unity Academic Alliance. And the Academic Alliance is a system that we've built to work with uh, educators in, and schools, institutions, in a way that we can embrace the content the process and the achievements of the, the learners. So students can go through uh, different aspects of this course based on what we're providing the educators. We're finding that that talent that's required is a really staggering number. With a growth for 3D content and 3D skills growing 601%, it is the fastest area for computer graphics and animation. I w there's so much that's coming and so much, so much, many interesting things and in the demands they're looking for that we have to span this breadth. So the Unity Academic Alliance creates a membership and the benefits of that membership provide educators product discounts, uh, circular frameworks for learning, certification, 
the professional development so they actually learn the soft skills as well. We've created a, uni a Unity Academic Alliance portal interfacing for teachers and it's allowing them to be able to manage the uh, interaction between the, the educators and the students and then having formal recognition for this. So we've developed something we've calling these circular frameworks where we're taking the skills that are mapped to the industry by being able to use those skills and validate them through the planning and the lesson, we then pre we prepare people to have a better opportunity for education. This is kind of like priming their understanding of where they're going to go and in, in a way that allows them to course correct throughout the, the different aspects of the education program so that they're always hitting the notes that make them feel like they're succeeding. Now, in that certification alignment, we've been really uh, specific about building the types of testing and the knowledge base into the Education Alliance that shows the teachers, the school, and the student the value of each of the different programs. We've built a certification method. In 2019, on LinkedIn, Unity Developer was the only branded job that was listed in the top 10 jobs that, were, that were, people were looking for on LinkedIn. So that meant employers were looking for Unity Developers. Our education process and what we're creating through this certification means that we can build different levels of achievement. Therefore, people and developers who go through the program will have a marketability in the industry when they graduate. So a UAA member portal looks like this. On the one side, we have the different software paths, the different software that you can learn. And over on the other side, we've got the circular frameworks that help people understand what area they wish to focus on. Okay, I have a couple of videos that didn't play. I'm gonna to try to get one going in a minute. Please hold on for just a second. Having access to a 3D editor in the cloud will allow students to unleash their creativity in a real-time 3D platform while learning important skills for future jobs across multiple industries. The streaming editor also removes the need for high-performance hardware. Since Unity EdLab has Unity running in the cloud, your students can access everything they need on something as lightweight as a Chromebook. The removal of installation and hardware barriers immediately makes real-time 3D skills more accessible to students across the world. At this point, you're probably thinking, great, but what do I teach? How do I even teach it? This is where the Educator Portal comes in. The Educator Portal is a centralized web portal that provides access to lesson plans, tutorials, instructional materials, assets, student activities, and other resources built specifically for educators like yourself. This portal was built with the single goal of equipping educators with the tools, resources, and skills they need to teach Unity with confidence and provide enriching, engaging learning experiences, even without a technical background. Students are granted access to Unity EdLab through the Roster Classroom Management Tool. This tool allows educators to easily assign and manage seats. Each student with a seat will have access to the Unity Editor through Unity EdLab. Once assigned, they can log in and begin working through the curriculum provided by us or built by you. Unity EdLab has a storage system allowing students to store their projects on a drive attached to their Unity EdLab account. This means you don't need to use storage space on their local computer. It'll all be held in the cloud for them anytime they log in. So that's it. We are so excited to give you the opportunity to bring your students into the incredible world of real-time 3D with the Unity EdLab. Go to create.unity.com forward slash unity dash edlab dash sales dash rep to reach out to one of our amazing salespeople who can help guide you on your journey to teaching the future of real-time 3D. So we found as educators that one of the barrier to entry, one of the things that's most challenging is that people that use these GPU intensive programs cannot afford access to the machines. 
We're finding that educators are grappling with the cost of machinery. There's a, a, a lack of affordable computing for uh, schools. The budgets are just not there to access the type of technology necessary to teach both virtual production and then a lot of the gaming stuff that we're seeing in the high end. So we took Unity, we put it in the cloud, it's a scalable architecture, and you can access the tools through a Chromebook to be able to teach on a high-end GPU in the cloud. So if you have any questions, now would be the Q&A time, and if not, please find me afterwards or come over to the Unity booth and we can further the discussion. Thanks very much for your time. I also wanted to thank ETC, AWS, and the people that are working on the show here today, helping us, Missy and Zach, and say thank you very much to them for putting this stuff together for us, and thanks to uh, SIGGRAPH. This is my 31st SIGGRAPH, and I have to tell you, every year it's more exciting, and the stuff that we're seeing today is different than we'll ever see in the past. Thank you again.